it's also a good thing for us kasi wala pa yung uniforms natin doon pero ganun na pero I think right now we'll be reaching the 95th rank and for everybody's information the 95th rank is the highest rank that we tied the historical reserve the highest rank no? in the past 95 yung pinakamataas so now na tie natin and uh, so uh, we're really projecting and believing that uh, we'll be setting new rankings high rankings for the Philippines no? this coming years so of course uh, lastly we'll be getting some feedbacks also on the areas of court reforms <laughs> and the uh, EC and the RI as well okay so as part of the agreements of the previous meeting so ARTA sent a letter to the Supreme Court last August enumerating the list of areas for court reforms that uh, the court could consider which includes amendments on the rules of court and other procedural rules and we have revised and updated the list based on the results of the 2020 DD survey so I believe that everybody has been provided a copy of this so I will now just go very quickly sir with the slides okay so as we take on the challenge to move um, <coughs> our performance spent further. We are setting our targets to reach uh, what the Philippine Development Plan has set for the year 2020. And that is to be in the top 40% or 76 out of 190 economies by 2020. So the year 2020 will release the 2021 report. So the 2020 targets po natin the top 40%, may reflect po siya sa 2021 DB reports. No? So our uh, target is to hit the 76. No? So as I mentioned, 95 historically is the highest rank natin. So meaning, ano po yan, it's, it's um, a record setting year hopefully for the Philippines. So on the next slide, so uh, as we take on the challenge to move our performance further, so we are setting our target to reach what the Philippine Development uh, Plan no? has set, no? what, 70 south of 190. So this is basically uh, all of the uh, a snapshot of the entire uh, indicators that, that are being mentioned, uh, being measured to the entire DB work. No? So right now there are about uh, 10. 10, 10 measures, no? And I think they are adding one more. Uh, justice, pero hindi pa nila susukatin. Pero hindi pa papasok sa 2021 report. Ang contracting, contracting with government, ang hindi papasok is labor. So, dalawa actually. Yung, ano, so, there's a, actually a uh, dark horse na pumasok kayo sa yung contracting with government kasi wala pang basic uh, historical data tayo dyan. So, all right. So, so we are taking off from the Philippines overall performance in 2019 doing business report, where in 2019 we ranked 124 out of 190. So, as I said, we were able to regain a good 29 notches. So now we are 95th in rank, and our current uh, ease of doing business score is 62.8. No, so iba po yung score, iba po yung rank. Uh, the rank, of course, is relative to our neighbors, you know, uh, yung ibang mga economy competitor. Yung score natin, as you can see, it goes up steadily. But sometimes, hindi naman nag-reflect sa rank because of the competitiveness of uh, the other countries. So, however, for enforcing contracts and resolving insolvency indicators, that is, the, that is our current uh, topic here, so we slid one and two notches, respectively. <clears throat> so last year it was D still the DPI who was in charge in uh, facilitating everything for the DB. So during the time the DPI submitted two reforms for the enforcing of contract indicator. One is the increased threshold, no? We mentioned a while ago for small claims cases, and the other is the e-library which makes the decisions promulgated by the SC and the CA accessible to the public for free. So the World Bank survey team commented that while they were aware of the initiative of the Supreme Court to increase the threshold of 400,000, <clears> the respondent said 
uh, that they did not feel that at the time uh, for trial and judgment was shortened. So as provided by the revised rules of small claims cases. So therefore, respondents. the respondents are the, uh, the respondents of the survey. That's it. So, but we have uh, some uh, big corporations. No, but but big corporations, lalo na mga credit card uh, yeah. corporations. Yeah. 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 They don't have to hire lawyers anymore. <laughs> so, <coughs> yun, yeah, yun, that's uh, that basically is the political method that we are actually addressing now, of course. Na. But I'm sure right now everybody is quite aware of this. Because, because we have our we have our figures, our data. Yeah. You know, monitor namin yung data. So, yung sabi ni CJ kan, uh, around 90 percent of uh, of the courts or the cases are complying with the uh, timelines. 15,000 though, just mm. So, actually, yung mga courts, yung iba sa simula, they were complaining kasi you have to decide within 24 hours from hearing. So, isang hearing lang naman yan eh. So, but since they already have templates, <coughs> So, parang fill in the blanks sa lang yung mga decision nila. Eventually, they were able to, ano, to get used to it, no? adjust sila. So, ngayon, uh, mas gusto na nila kasi they don't have to have yung mga prolonged hearings. And, ano, pag small case, ayan, o, ito na. O, usap, isang hearing lang, and then the court will decide. Saka si Judge yata, justice talaga, ang ah, sure. mamahal yes, ng hearing. Yes, oh, oh, hindi, hindi mediator, hindi... Arbiter, talaga. Siya mismo. 